Hi, welcome to Discovery Quests. I hope you all are doing great today. 2024 will be remembered as a watershed year in the field of archaeology, marked by a plethora of groundbreaking discoveries that have significantly expanded our understanding of human history, culture and civilization. From the scorching deserts of Saudi Arabia to the ancient ruins of Pompeii, and from the lush jungles of Indonesia to the storied landscapes of Greece, this year's archaeological finds have been nothing short of breathtaking. As researchers and excavators ventured into the unknown, they unearthed secrets that had lain hidden for centuries, challenging our existing narratives and offering fresh insights into the lives of our ancient ancestors. The discoveries highlighted in this article represent the creme de la creme of this year's archaeological bounty, showcasing the ingenuity, creativity and resilience of bygone eras. From the 5,000-year-old jade artifacts of Inner Mongolia to the 2,000-year-old Roman scrolls, and from the prehistoric calendar of Gobekli Tepe to the fossilized footprints of Brazil's Dinosaur Valley, these 12 discoveries have collectively rewritten the story of human civilization, reminding us that there is still so much to uncover, explore, and learn from the ancient world. Below is a look at the 12 archaeological finds that are likely to have an impact on our understanding of human history for years to come. Number 12. 4,000-year-old Fort City identified in Saudi Arabia. The ancient Bronze Age town Al Natar was identified by archaeologists under an oasis in the Saudi Arabian Al Medina province earlier this year. Slowly occupied from 2400 BCE until 1500 BCE, at the latest 1300 BCE, the ancient town was constructed as the area pivoted from nomadic cattle herding to permanent settlement. It would have been home to roughly 500 residents across 3.7 acres, containing a central district and nearby residential settlement protected by ramparts. Building foundations at the site were strong enough to support one- to two-storey dwellings. Additionally, a cluster of graves containing metal weapons, such as axes and daggers along with agate and other stones, were also found near the town. There being few well-preserved archaeological sites in northern Arabia, Al Nata provides greater insight into early urbanization efforts in the region, which appears to have favored small fortified towns that may have established an early trade network for spices, frankincense and myrrh between southern Arabia and the Mediterranean. Number 11. 2,000-year-old Nabataean Temple Found off the Italian coast, a Nabataean temple was discovered off the coast of Pozzuoli, Italy, a rather unusual find, as most Nabataean architecture is situated in the Middle East. The bustling port city Puteoli, as it was known, was a trading hub across the Mediterranean under the Roman Republic. Volcanic eruptions caused the port to sink into the ocean. Archaeologists discovered there a 2,000-year-old temple dedicated to the Nabataean god Dushara, the only example of its kind outside the Middle East. Unlike most Nabataean temples, this one contains an inscription written in Latin, as well as an architectural style that reflects its Roman influence. Measuring 32 by 16 feet, the temple had two large rooms with marble altars decorated with sacred stones. Number 10, 11, Sealed Burials Excavated in Luxor, an ancient Egyptian tomb with 11 sealed burials was excavated by archaeologists in Luxor in the south of Sassif Necropolis, next to the Temple of Hatshepsut, along the west bank of the Nile River. There, archaeologists found coffins for men, women and children dating back to the Middle Kingdom, 1938 BCE, 1630 BCE. Experts believe it was used as a family tomb for multiple generations from the 12th through the beginning of the 13th dynasty. Though most of the wooden coffins and linen wraps that would have been customary for these kinds of burials were destroyed by ancient floods, jewellery from the women's burials were recovered. One well-crafted necklace containing 30 amethyst and two agate beads around a hippo head amulet was among the finds. 
two copper mirrors were also found. One featured a lotus-shaped handle, and the other boasted the design of Hathor, the goddess of the sky, women, fertility, and love among the ancient Egyptians. Number 9. Decor in recently discovered rooms in Peru Suggest ancient Mochi society was women-ruled. An elaborate throne room and hall were found at Pana Marca, an archaeological site that was once a religious and political center of the ancient Mocha culture. Dating to 650 CE, the hall is decorated with elaborate snake murals, complete with a throne that has a worn backrest. The paintings within the newly discovered chamber show a woman seated on the throne while receiving visitors. There are also depictions of a crown, the crescent moon, sea creatures, and a weaving workshop. Another chamber was decorated with paintings of large serpents with human legs, as well as images of warriors and an unidentified mythical creature. The motifs featured here are unlike those seen in previously discovered mochi art, reinforcing experts' consensus that mochi culture was not, in fact, male-dominated. Number 8. More than 1,000 artifacts discovered beneath Notre Dame Cathedral after a blaze nearly destroyed Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, in 2019, archaeologists had a rare opportunity to dig beneath the building. There, they found as many as 1,035 artwork fragments, as well as 100 graves, increasing the cathedral's total record to more than 500 burials. Many of the coffins, along with scattered bones, remain unidentified. A lead sarcophagus, however, may belong to the poet Joachim du Bellay, among some of the more notable burials. Life-size heads and torsos of limestone statues, including one of Christ, were also unearthed. A 13th-century jube, or rood screen, that previously isolated the choir and sanctuary from public view was among the more significant architectural finds. Researchers also came to better understand how Notre Dame was originally constructed by artisans in the Middle Ages. Number 7,500-year-old jade artifacts connect Inner Mongolia and early Chinese civilizations. Three 5,000-year-old jade dragons of varying colors and sizes stood out among more than 100 Stone Age jade artifacts discovered at the Yuanbaoshan archaeological site in China's Qifeng city. An emerald green specimen roughly the size of a human hand is the largest of its kind ever unearthed in northern China. The objects have been linked to the Hongshan culture, which thrived in Inner Mongolia and the nearby provinces of Liaoning and Hebei during the Stone Age. That culture produced some of the earliest known jade objects in the world, typically for burial rituals. Scientists believe the two populations likely exchanged goods over long distances, with the ancient culture thought to have moved south due to climate change roughly 4,000 years ago. Number 6. Prehistoric calendar captures the origin of humanity. In the Fertile Crescent, experts identified a prehistoric calendar memorializing a comet strike at the Göbekli Tepe archaeological site in Turkey. Gobekli Tepe is a 12,000-year-old temple-like complex with intricate carvings depicting symbols. Researchers believe that the carvings were developed to record comet fragments that hit the Earth roughly 13,000 years ago. The engravings on the monument track both moon phases and sun cycles, making this site the world's earliest lunisolar calendar by more than a millennium. The comet strike brought with it a miniature ice age that led to the extinction of many large animals. As such, early humans may have been demarcating a lifestyle change from hunting and gathering to agriculture and the birth of civilization in the fertile crescent of West Asia. Number 5. AI deciphers previously illegible text from 2,000-year-old Roman scroll, Greek writing previously unreadable inside a 2,000-year-old scroll that burned during the 79 CE eruption of Mount Vesuvius has been deciphered, thanks in part to the Vesuvius Challenge. 
the scroll hails from the luxury Roman villa Herculaneum and is one of more than 1,785 intact papyri turned carbonized ash known as the Herculaneum Scrolls, excavated from a residential complex known as the Villa of the Papyri in the 18th century. Using artificial intelligence technology as part of the Vesuvius Challenge Contest, participants uncovered a previously unknown philosophical work on senses and pleasure. The text discusses music, the taste of capers, and the color purple, along with a description of a possible known flautist Xenophantus, who has been mentioned in texts by the ancient authors Seneca and Plutarch. Number 4. World's Oldest Known Cave Painting Found in Indonesia A wild pig painted with crude red pigment, standing at peace beside three human-like figures some 51,200 years ago on the ceiling of a limestone cave, was discovered on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi. The discovery of this artwork marks the world's oldest known cave painting, surpassing the previous record holder by more than 10,000 years. The scene in the Liang Karampuang Cave in the Maros Pankep region of South Sulawesi province features a pig measuring 36 inches by 15 inches. The pig is shown standing upright by a group of people. Several smaller images of pigs were also found in the cave and were similarly dated using a laser to assess the age of calcium carbonate crystals that develop organically on the pigment. These works represent the earliest example of narrative storytelling in visual art. Number 3. Earliest known Iron Age house found in Greek village. In the ancient village of Thorikos, outside the city of Lavrian in southern Athens, archaeologists discovered what is thought to be one of the earliest Iron Age houses in Greece. The area was once home to the Mycenaeans, who would have constructed the dwelling, which contained five or possibly six rooms, and what was likely a paved courtyard in use between 950 BCE and 825 BCE. The presence of a millstone and an intricate layout suggests the home was used by members of a highly developed civilization or a well-established social structure. Number 2. Petroglyphs and fossilized footprints found in Brazil's Dinosaur Valley The fossilized footsteps of early Cretaceous creatures of the two- and four-legged reptilian type were identified trailing alongside a collection of petroglyphs in Brazil's Cerote do Letreiro site, known since 1975 as a rich repository for ancient and primordial findings. Experts determined that a coarse instrument was used to carve circular figures containing radial lines on the stone surface. Despite the profusion of identified petroglyphs, no overlap was observed between these inscriptions and the fossilized footprints. In none of the cases was it found that the creation of a petroglyph resulted in damage to the existing footprints, suggesting thoughtfulness by the makers. Number 1. Newly discovered Frescoes and human remains surface at Pompeii. As archaeologists continue to excavate the ancient Roman city famously preserved in ash following the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE, They've made a number of notable discoveries this year, primarily frescoes and human remains. The first occurred in March with the unearthing of a fresco depicting Greek mythological siblings Phrixus and Hela. The brother and sister are refugees whose stepmother forced them to flee. The fresco depicts Hela in the moment before she is overcome by the waves and drowned, her face obscured as she reaches for her brother, who is fleeing on the ram of the Golden Fleece. It was found in the House of Leda, which has been undergoing construction since 2018. Archaeologists also uncovered two new domus nearby. That's it for today. We will meet with another interesting topic very soon.